While many other robotics companies are still focused on proving that their machines can simply lift or move objects like humans, Elon Musk is already setting his sights on something far greater. With Optimus Gen 3, his goal is to create a new benchmark for the entire robotics industry. The upcoming Optimus version 3, expected to launch by the end of this year, introduces a major upgrade, an OLED display built directly into its face. At first, this may sound like just another technical feature, but in reality, it represents a bold strategic step forward that Musk intends to lead. No humanoid robot in the world today comes with an OLED facial display. Most robots, including the current Optimus Gen 2, rely only on basic light patterns. According to recent reports, Samsung has become a crucial partner in this project, bringing Tesla's vision of a robot with a speaking, expressive face closer than ever before. So what exactly will this new screen do, and how will it push Optimus ahead of its competition? Let us dive in. Last month, during Tesla's quarter 2 earnings call, Elon Musk revealed that the company is finalizing the design of Optimus and elevating it to an extraordinary level. Right now, Optimus stands at version 2.5. Musk explained that Optimus 3 will be a polished design, an incredible product, and possibly Tesla's biggest breakthrough yet. He even predicted that Gen 3 could become Tesla's most successful product ever, expected to sell in huge numbers thanks to its advanced engineering and complete set of features. Before exploring the many other upgrades, we should first focus on the OLED display because this is the newest development making headlines across the industry. According to sources, Samsung is extending its OLED technology beyond smartphones and expanding it to power Tesla's Optimus robots, enabling new human-like interactions in the next era of robotics. Many people may not realize this, but Samsung Display is already the global leader in OLED panels, supplying them to Apple and many other top smartphone brands. Even though Samsung already dominates this space, it has been looking for new partnerships in the United States, and Tesla has now emerged as one of its most significant new customers. Recently, Tesla signed a massive $16.5 billion agreement with Samsung, which covers both advanced AI chips and 8-inch OLED panels. At first, many assumed these screens were meant only for Tesla's vehicles. But upon closer inspection, that assumption seemed off. For example, Tesla's rear passenger displays inside its electric vehicles still use LCD panels, and there is little motivation for Tesla to replace them with OLEDs, especially considering the higher production cost. Over the past two quarters, Tesla has seen a notable drop in revenue and profits, and with cooling demand for electric vehicles, there is no clear reason to shift those screens to OLED technology right now. That is why we are not surprised that the OLED displays are actually being used for Optimus. In fact, here on Amp Drive, we predicted this move earlier. If you closely observe the current Optimus Gen 2, its design is already near perfect. What it still lacks are 22 degrees of freedom in the hands, faster walking speed, integrated Grok voice capability, and an advanced screen for communication and visual expression. Interestingly, the size of Optimus face is almost a perfect fit for an 8-inch display, making Samsung's OLED panel the ideal choice for version 3. From our point of view, Tesla's choice to equip Optimus with an OLED facial display is much more than a cosmetic change. It is a technological and cultural shift. The screen will not only make Optimus appear more approachable but will completely transform the way humans interact with humanoid robots. OLED technology provides sharp images, high contrast, rich colors, and can adapt its appearance depending on context. This means Optimus will be able to show facial expressions, emotional cues, and even operational updates in a way that feels natural and alive. This helps overcome the fear or discomfort people often feel when engaging with lifeless machines, while setting a new standard for robots that appear to have a sense of soul. Let me pause here for a moment. You are watching Amp Drive, and if you are new to the channel, I want to give you a warm welcome. We are building a community around Tesla, robotics, and the future of technology. So if you love these updates and want to stay ahead of the curve, please consider subscribing to Amp Drive right now. It means the world to us and keeps you updated with everything Elon Musk and Tesla are doing. Now, let's get back to Optimus Gen 3. 
The truth is that we humans often view robots through the lens of movies. Most of those portrayals resemble something like the Terminator, cold, metallic, and intimidating. That cultural influence has shaped public perception, leading many to assume that humanoid robots are potential overlords rather than helpful assistants. But design absolutely matters. The display on Optimus will serve as its primary communication interface. It will allow the robot to display emotions, visual signals, and status information. This feature will be especially useful in workplaces and industrial environments where building trust and approachability is essential when people and robots work together. In the consumer world, the OLED display opens even more possibilities. Imagine asking Optimus a question. Instead of only speaking back with its voice, Optimus could also display visual results on its screen. For instance, if you asked about the differences between a Tesla Model 3 and a Tesla Model Y, Optimus could instantly show images of both cars side by side on its face. This would be particularly beneficial for older adults who sometimes struggle with technology, as the robot could show them clear answers in a highly visual and easy-to-understand format. Another revolutionary function will be real-time subtitles displayed on the robot's face. This will make Optimus invaluable for people with hearing impairments and will also transform it into a truly multilingual communication tool. It could help bridge language barriers in workplaces, households, and international environments in ways no other robot has managed so far. Optimus' hemispherical face shape, similar to that of a human head, makes it extremely challenging to implement with standard LCD technology. But OLED panels are flexible, lightweight, and consume less power, making them perfect for the design. Reports also suggest that Samsung Electromechanics may supply advanced camera modules for Optimus, pointing to an even deeper collaboration between Tesla and Samsung. Still, many people question how practical the Tesla robot really is. Optimus has not yet proven itself fully convincing. Its abilities so far remain relatively simple, and engineers admit that more fine-tuning and debugging are necessary before it officially reaches the market next year. Yet there is no denying that Tesla is making consistent progress. Right now, at least four major upgrades are being worked on, and once they are complete, they will pave the way for the final Optimus Gen 3 model. Beyond the OLED display, one of the biggest breakthroughs will be Grok Voice, a natural language system powered by XAI. Unlike traditional voice assistants that depend on rigid scripts, Grok enables Optimus to hold smooth, natural conversations. This feature will be especially helpful for elderly people who prefer listening rather than reading from a screen. Optimus will not only respond with speech but also adapt to the context of conversations, something very few robots today can do. Elon Musk has long stated that Optimus can be particularly valuable for seniors and children. With its advanced AI, Optimus can act as a patient teacher, guiding seniors through complex devices step by step or helping children with learning in a fun and interactive way. Imagine asking, Optimus, please teach me how to use the microwave, and the robot patiently walks you through the process until you fully understand. That is a game changing level of assistance. And Grok voice is more than just natural speech. It can adapt to different environments. Whether it is in a noisy factory or in a multilingual household where multiple languages are spoken at once, Optimus can still operate accurately and smoothly. This flexibility is what sets it apart from robots by companies like Boston Dynamics, which rely too heavily on rigid scripts. Tesla has also placed heavy focus on design. Unlike many competing robots that still expose wiring, metal frameworks, or bulky motors, Optimus has a sleek, polished appearance. Even though its current look is refined, Elon Musk has made it clear that version 3 will be something even more special. His main priority is to redesign it for easier mass production. According to Musk, the most difficult challenge is not just making Optimus capable but ensuring it can be produced in large numbers with an efficient supply chain. Optimus Gen 3 will also include the much-anticipated 22 degree of freedom hands and improved walking speed. These hands will make the robot far more capable of handling delicate or complex tasks, and they represent one of the most important upgrades over Gen 2. Many people say that if Optimus can clean homes and perform basic chores, it will already be worth its cost. 
Tasks such as vacuuming, washing dishes, or wiping surfaces were once seen as science fiction. But Tesla has shown repeatedly that Optimus is learning to do all these things. It can operate for eight hours at a time, making it a practical household assistant. Elon Musk has emphasized many times that the value of Optimus will far exceed the money people pay to own one. Over the past two years, Optimus has proven its ability in a growing list of tasks, cleaning tables, tearing paper towels, stirring food in a pot, vacuuming floors, opening cabinets, closing curtains, inspecting packages, folding clothes, watering plants, and even playing games with people. Each demonstration shows that Tesla is steadily pushing Optimus closer to being a fully capable home assistant. The redesigned hands are a big part of this. Fully enclosed and waterproof, with advanced tactile sensors, the new hands allow Optimus to handle fragile items such as eggs or glasses without breaking them. They enable multitasking and let the robot switch smoothly between holding a broom, a vacuum, or cleaning supplies. Behind the scenes, Optimus AI is trained with neural networks and simtorial technology, letting it learn from human demonstrations and adapt to new situations quickly. Using cameras and vision sensors, Optimus creates a three-dimensional map of its environment, helping it avoid obstacles such as pets, children, or cables while working. The journey of Tesla's Optimus is far from finished. But the leap from Gen 2 to Gen 3, especially with the addition of the OLED facial display, Grok voice, and redesigned hands, is shaping up to be monumental. With every update, Tesla brings the world one step closer to having a humanoid robot that is not just a prototype, but a real product that can live and work in homes and factories.